Uh, we just pulled into Gunter Hill Corps of Engineers uh, Park here and just south of Montgomery, Alabama. And we're here for a night. But uh, if you can see behind me, and, and I am standing, the RV's in front of me and the lake is, uh, is right behind me. Uh, I don't know if you can see Mike. Mike's over my left shoulder. It could be your right shoulder. Uh, he's got a pole already in, and he's fishing. Uh, guys, this is uh, this is an amazing uh, site uh, and campground. Um, we're here for just one night, and then we're on to Destin. But uh, if I'd have known this, uh, we'd have stayed for two or three nights. Uh, this is this is amazing, or, or even a week. But um, for fishing, they said the fish are biting and fishing is good. So uh, we'll take you around the park here in a little bit. Uh, the sites are very large. Um, they do have electricity and they have water. Uh, there is a dump station uh, as you're leaving, but it is not where you can hook up uh, on the site. Not a big deal, but uh, let you know that. Check them out. I think they're, uh, the sites were $18 a night. can beat that. The the listing of where we're at said they could fit an 80 foot rig. Uh, we're 36 foot with the Jeep and I have plenty of room. So I don't know if you can see that. It's very shaded, very nice, very nice park. It's probably in the maybe high 40s, uh, low 50s. Uh, it's crisp. Um, I don't know if you can see the lake behind me, uh, but it's got the, the low fog on the lake, just kind of rolling. It's really kind of nice. Anyway, uh, we're up a little early. Uh, kids are still asleep. Um, I'll let them sleep for a little bit, but um, we're about to fix breakfast and then we're gonna head to Destin, Florida. And uh, I gotta be honest with you, I love the mountains. The beach I don't hate, it's a nice place to visit, but I sure as heck wouldn't wanna live there, too much sand. But we're gonna go and we're gonna have a good time. And um, then from there, we, uh, we travel on down towards Disney and we'll be at the Fort, uh, Fort Wilderness for the next uh, six days. So looking forward to that. Wanted to share just a little bit of our morning with you, or my morning with you. We're about to cook a little breakfast and um, I'm gonna re-season my Blackstone. Now I, I don't do this every time. Uh, we've used it probably maybe 10 times now. So I've got it cleaned off. Uh, and cleaned up. And usually what I'll use to clean up is just, uh, I'll turn it on, take a little water, put it on the black stone, let it, uh, let it get good and hot. And then I'll, um, I'll just take my spatula, move that water as it's boiling and um, move all the junk and gunk uh, off of it. And um, then I'll come back and re-season it. What I use to season it <clears throat> or re when I seasoned it and, and to re-season it, it's just plain old good old Crisco. Uh, and I'll put that on there just like I did when I seasoned it the first time. And uh, and it gets a good uh, a good base again on it so it's non-stick. But anyway, I thought I'd share that with you as we get ready to cook, uh, cook our breakfast. So good information to, uh, to know when you're using your Blackstone. Uh, we really enjoyed ours. And again, I'm gonna put that description uh, down below. Um, please comment and uh, let us know if you 
got a Blackstone, how you like yours and, and maybe some secrets that you use. Um, but leave us a comment. Give us a thumbs up uh, if you like this video and uh, please subscribe. We need your uh, subscription as uh, we're trying to get to our, our thousand. Uh, again, we are a little over 200 and that's because of you and I appreciate it and uh, we appreciate it. And um, I'm glad that we can share our adventures with you and that you guys watch and enjoy. Thanks. So we got it reseasoned. Uh, I thought I'd let you look at that and I've got already got my sausage and my uh, hash brown patties on there. But uh, that's what it looks like after I reseason. It's all cleaned back up. I know because it's dark and uh, doesn't look real clean, but it is. It's it's clean. It's ready to go, and um, that's how we do it. Like I said, I've used it about ten times, and um, we cleaned it up real good uh, with the water after each time we use it, and then um, I'll reseason. Hey, hey, I'm fixing to feed you again.